ready to go. Patio show. It's my dilemma. It's two guys with a microphone and an idea. Uh, a much better idea than they had the previous year. <laughs> well, the, the genesis of the, uh, of the project... Ooh, nice word. Yes, three dollar word. Ooh. Uh, we were sitting on, on, on the patio at All About Chaw in Northwestern. You no. got to tell them about the waffles, Scott. So they they have I don't even remember what they call it now. I, I I thought I wrote it down here, but but it doesn't appear I did. They have a waffle Sunday thing. It's a Belgian waffle, and not not just a tiny little little Belgian waffle. I'm trying to show you with my hands. It's not working. And they, it's this the big. Thing. Yeah, it's that big. Um, it's it's like a medium sized frisbee. Uh, if <laughs> if you've ever played frisbee golf, it's it's like a putter. There you go. It, it, <laughs> But but yeah. thicker. We were sitting at the All About Cha, and we we were just talking that we could make a podcast about patios because we spent so much time, especially that summer, on patios. And we're like, well, where, where's another patio besides this one? And of course, we came up with Picasso's right away because we sat there a lot. We do a lot of sitting, if you can't tell by our musculature. <laughs> nice. Thanks a lot. Hey, I said our musculature. I didn't say anything else. We're patio sitters. And we're like, well, who better to rate patios than two guys who sit on patios? I'm a full-time student at the University of Central Oklahoma. <laughs> It was flying into the ground. It didn't realize it was hitting something. I work part-time at a casino here in Oklahoma. And we do the patio show. And I do improv. And I run the improv club for another week at the school. And trying to put together an improv festival and feeling really stressed out. And finals are coming up. So, yeah, that's what I do. I'd like to be able for us to be able to do the patio show, like as our primary source of revenue. But at the same time, I think it would lose something. But again, as long as it's me and you on the patio, I don't know how it could lose something. But I don't know people with like production value and pressure for you know results and ratings and that I think would take something away from it that. I'd be like, okay, well, we're taking a break. You'll find me on a patio somewhere else away from everything, drinking my iced tea. <laughs> and if you like our tagline, the closing tagline, the closing catchphrase, well, you better write in because after this season, I'm going to come up with something new. I promise you. All right. And if you like our tagline, the closing tagline, the closing catchphrase, well, you better write in because after this season I'm going to come up with something new. I promise you. So, okay. It's, it's been a point of contention for two seasons now, and I'm, I'm willing to discuss it. But I'm not going to say I'm going to give on it. Okay. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe, maybe I don't. <laughs> See you on the patio. Ah! Ah! The catchphrase. Save us a seat. I just, 
I didn't realize it was going to become a recurring thing, and then it did, and then I felt like, okay, well, it's got to stay this way. So blue sky me. Give me, give, give me anything better. Okay. Um, let me think. Nice, nice. I think that noise is better than save us a seat, though. Save us a seat. I'm half of the Ready to Go Patio Show. Uh, I'm 40, <clears throat> and uh, yeah. I'm from Oklahoma. I'm, I'm in the UWW program at UMass Amherst. Uh, I'm a communications guy. I do all kinds of things. It's hard, it's hard to nail down who I am. But maybe I'm just being bitchy. Yes. Uh, I will agree with that. <laughs> it is my nature, after all. <laughs> I always look forward to dessert. Save room for dessert. Yeah, we take that to heart. Probably going to get that tattooed on my chest someday. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I used to. <laughs> I know. No, no, that's good. That's good. No um, prison house tats for me. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Right. Um, right. Everyone has their thing. Let's go to some review. You, <laughs> you wait. No, 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 wait. My, my five comes with an asterisk because I really can't say that, you know, the service wasn't juicing. Uh, <laughs> but Ooh, Olympic jokes. Ooh. <laughs> Not a first or second date or third date place. If you're out with your special friend and you want to... Break up with them? <laughs> grab a quick lunch without any dessert? Yeah, I think they get a good review. They get a good idea of, of what a restaurant, a patio restaurant is like. They get to hear about locally owned places that they may not have heard about. Uh, I, I think there's there's value in the review, but I think there's also value in the show itself because you get more than just you know here's how many umbrellas and and it's not quite as dry as a say Siskel and Ebert sort of thing. So, any big names to be. Uh calling out there, buddy. Hey, hey, I've got <laughs> dreams. <laughs> okay. One of the things people don't understand about making a podcast is it's not free. You have hosting that you've got to pay for. You've got to do the work. I mean, your time isn't free. If, if you're doing that, if you're doing one thing, you can't do the, do another. So the hours that you spend planning and editing and doing the, the actual reviews and recording and re-recording, I mean, this it all comes with a cost. Plus, we don't accept free meals. I mean, we might, but so we've never nobody's ever offered one. one so. well, we've never had the opportunity but, to turn it down. But the expense is, is there. I mean, we, we pay for the meals, and we pay for the hosting, and we, we put our time and effort into it. It takes a lot. I mean, I'd say we, we each podcast, each 22-minute, 24-minute, somewhere in there, because, of course, I've been planning for TV the whole time, so I want to keep it down to a, a good 30-minute format. Uh, each one of those takes about 14 hours to produce. From planning, to reviewing, to recording, to editing, and producing, and putting it out. And then there's the social media and everything that goes along with it. So, when you add that up, that's that's a lot of time to, to dump into something. It's, it's a labor of love. Even now, I checked the other day, we're still getting about 70 hits a day. And we haven't put a put a show out in months. So, but, but the people who listen to the show are big fans, which is just like if they see us out, they're like, "Dave, I listened to the patio show. You guys are hilarious." And I had a friend text me out of the blue just to say, 
he was accidentally listening to the show in slow motion, like it was on half speed, and he said it was even more funny than when it was on full speed. I'm like, okay. Okay. So what makes a good good patio? I mean, it's the surface. It's the, the it's, it's, it's the ambiance. It's the space. It's the food. It's it's everything. Have you set up a zone or an area where we can come in, sit down, de-stress, and have intelligent conversation without being drowned out by stereo or drunk people? Can we? Can we people watch? Can we people watch? Can we enjoy your dessert? We are, have to be able to enjoy are, your are we getting? Yeah, are we getting? You're sitting on the patio. Well, nobody sits on the patio type of service. Right, and we we have done at least one of those. That wow, we won't again. Nobody sits on the patio. So, so I'm Dave. I'm Scott. This has been the Ready to Go Patio Show, and as always, we'll see you on the patio. Save us a seat. Save us. You, okay, is that the thing? Is that yeah, what you're that's do? the okay. thing. I'm so, not editing this out either. And as always, <laughs> we'll see you on the patio. Save us a seat. There we go.